Today's episode is sponsored by Peplo and supported by our amazing Patreon community. For better access to me, join us on Patreon. I'll have a link below. My name is Zach, it's nice to meet you. Click thumbs up for Chestnut, subscribe to my channel, and grab a copy of my number one best-selling book, Dog Training Revolution. I'll have that link in the description too. Having a puppy can be great, but there are a number of mistakes that are easy to make and unexpected issues that arise during puppyhood that you might not be aware of. He's a really reluctant roller over. We need one of these hips to shift. So now that's shifted, so we're gonna go this way. You may also not be aware that you can eliminate the chore of going to get your dog's food two to three times a month too. It's as easy as going to PetFlow at the link in the description, selecting your dog's favorite food, and telling PetFlow how often you need it to be at your front door. That's all there is to it. Every time he gets up, I'm pulling it away. Two things happen when you get your pet's food from PetFlow. Your life becomes easier and you're supporting the dog training revolution. I'm gonna have a link in the description and be sure to enter code ZAK30 when you check out and you'll get $10 off your first three orders. That's a great deal. There we go. And you gotta be quick to get those treats going. Roll over, good job. Let's start with socializing your dog with strangers. Prioritize socializing your puppy as soon as you can. I mean, young puppies are going to react in a whole range of different ways to new people and new experiences. So if your puppy is wary of new things like umbrellas or even strangers, don't panic. This is normal. And your puppy will probably overcome their fears pretty quickly as long as you take the time to work with them. Everyone loves a cute puppy, so encourage strangers to give your puppy treats by hand, especially while they're young and extra approachable. See, your goal is to calm them, reassure them, and create good associations around things that might make them apprehensive. You know what? I bet this will make you feel a lot better. Why don't you chew on this? Encourage your dog to walk up to people by giving the stranger a great treat. And if your puppy is too reluctant to eat from a stranger's hand, you can even have the person toss treats to your puppy until they're more comfortable. Now, if you make it a priority to go to public places like parks several times a week and really expose your dog to lots of different people and friendly, vaccinated dogs, you should notice steady improvement. Plus, this has the added benefit of getting your dog used to public places so that they'll act normal when they're in public in the future. That's always a good thing. I think Chestnut knows how to speak already. Watch this. Speak. Kind of thinking about it. Yes! That was really good. And you can see there, how it looked like for a moment he wasn't gonna do it. I didn't just repeat myself and say, speak, speak, speak. I just waited. Next, lots of people are really caught off guard by their puppy's inner Tasmanian devil. See, excessive puppy biting is normal. If you've got a really scrappy puppy biter, it can be really tough to overcome at first, especially if you're an inexperienced trainer. So practice sharpening up your timing, your genuine enthusiasm, and your consistency. But most importantly, don't give up. Now let's talk about chewing. I mean, this is just a fact of life. Puppies chew and they really don't understand what you expect of them yet because it takes months to establish good communication with a dog. So to offset this, you need to flawlessly control their environment to keep them from chewing things that they're not supposed to. Plus you wanna provide lots of different chew toys of varying textures. That's important as their chewing taste will vary tremendously throughout this period. The main thing you need to do with these guys is provide them with lots of age appropriate exercise, ideally early in the day, and then additional exercise throughout the day if necessary. It's unreasonable to expect hyper dogs to simply just calm down. I mean, we bred them for thousands of years to be excellent workers and to have the stamina it takes to get the job done. You've just got to focus on teaching your dog how to play fetch and take them on plenty of walks or hikes with them throughout their life, and you should find that they're receptive to learning just about anything you want to teach them. Can you crawl? Oh, look at that. He's got a little crawl going. Oh my gosh. You're such an advanced puppy. If you're new to having a puppy, you're probably wondering how long is it gonna be before they'll listen to you without treats? Probably longer than you think. That's because you need to use treats thoroughly in lots of different environments and contexts. It often takes about a year to give your dog enough life experience to really begin generalizing what you want them to do in those various places. For example, you might teach your dog how to stay and come to you while you're inside the house, but you've also got to teach them how to stay and come to you while you're in your backyard yard or at the park or even at a friend's house who's got dogs. Don't underestimate the importance of teaching your dog to listen to you contextually.
contextually. This is why it's important to use very good treats or toys that your dog loves for an extended period of time, up to a year if necessary in these more highly distracting situations. The goal is to get your dog complying as easily as possible when they're encountering something new, and toys and treats as motivators go a long way towards making that happen. I strongly recommend that you get a copy of my book and become really familiar with my playlist. I'm gonna have a link to that in the description, but that'll show you how to teach your dog all of the basics and beyond in order, and it's completely free. Click thumbs up for Chestnut, subscribe to my channel, and become part of our awesome Patreon community. I'm even posting additional bonus video content over there. I'll have those links in the description. You really showed this pig ear who's boss. See you guys next time.